females are often notoriously choosy. Object garden. Male bowerbirds in some species construct these incredible architectural feats. They use twigs and little leaves and bits of shells. Sometimes they'll stack up sticks around a little sapling to make a maypole. They'll decorate the front with all of the most beautiful objects that he can find in the whole forest. Shells, bottle caps, little straws. In certain species, blue is the it color, and the more blue objects you have, the better. Female bowerbirds will fly around to all of the different males, and sometimes the males will do a little jig. Females will watch, and after they've determined which male they like best, they'll return to that male, and he will be the one to mate with her. Complicated vagina. In certain duck species, the male ducks will mate with female ducks whether they want to or not, which means that she may be mating with a male that she actually doesn't like at all. In these species, females have very complicated, spirally, pouchy, long vaginas. The pouches lead to dead ends, these sort of blind alleys, and may serve to divert the male phallus and prevent his sperm from fertilizing her eggs. They also have this spiral structure. When you stretch it all out, it it sort of looks like a wine opener. And it turns out that male ducks in these certain species have very spirally phalluses, but they spiral in opposite ways. So the female vagina spirals in a clockwise direction while the male phallus is counterclockwise. Without the female's cooperation, the spirally vagina may prevent the male phallus from entering and thus fertilizing her eggs. Too many sperm. In many animals, there's a mad rush for the sperm to get to the egg. The first sperm to make it inside is the one that contributes half of the genetic material to the next generation. When one sperm reaches the inside of an egg, there's this block that goes up like a brick wall. It prevents other sperm from making it inside. If too many sperm make it inside an egg, you get all sorts of trouble. The end of development, the death of the embryo. In the comb jelly baroi, many, many sperm enter the egg. The female half of the genetic material will go from one sperm to the next. What the female half of the genetic material likes about these sperm is unknown. She will go from one sperm to the next, and for reasons that aren't clear, she will then fuse with one particular sperm, and the egg will then become an embryo and go on to make a new baby comb jelly. Egg hijacking. Stick insects. In some types of Sicilian stick insects. After sperm enters the egg, the female genetic material will just dissolve away. If two sperm were able to enter the egg, then those two sperm will fuse with each other and a new stick insect will be created. The sperm are taking the building material and leaving the plans at the door. Sort of like egg hijacking. I'm Rebecca Helm, a graduate student at Brown University. This podcast was put together by Sophia Tintori. CreatureCast is an NSF-supported podcast from the Dunlab here at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island, and the Providence Plantation. Is that really <laughs> what it is? If you're interested in learning more about the unexpected world of animals, please visit CreatureCast.org. Thanks for listening.